Other news tonight, let's begin first at 430 by bringing you up to speed this afternoon. Right now, a recovery mission is underway to retrieve the body of a Chinese tourist who fell from a Grand Canyon lookout. It happened on one of the tribe's reservation areas just west of Grand Canyon National Park. Officials say the man was attempting to take a picture when he slipped and fell, fell from Eagle Point adjacent to the skywalk. Deadly officer involved shooting now under investigation near 51st Avenue and Indian School Road. Phoenix police tell us they were responding to a burglary call when they came across a speeding pickup. Four people took off on foot and when officers caught up with one of the suspects, he pointed a gun at the police officer. The officer shot him and he later died. Another suspect was taken into custody tonight. Police are searching for additional suspects. Peoria police also involved in a shooting. This one happening just before 11 last night near 83rd Avenue in Choya. Investigators telling 12 News the driver reached for a gun in his lap during a traffic stop. The sergeant who stopped him opened fire. The man was hit in the face, but is expected to survive. The gunman who was shot by an off-duty police officer, a Phoenix police officer at Hacienda Healthcare finally went before a judge. Off-duty officers working security found Jose Manuel Castillo holding a gun and standing over a woman in the parking lot almost three weeks ago when they approached Castillo. He ran off shooting in the woman's direction. One police officer and that off-duty officer fired back, hitting Castillo. He's now facing several charges, including attempted first-degree murder. The federal government has charged Facebook with high-tech housing discrimination, saying the tech giant allegedly allowed landlords and real estate brokers to systematically exclude groups such as non-Christians, immigrants, and minorities from certain housing advertisements. Facebook released a statement saying they were surprised by the charges and have gone to great lengths to correct ad targeting over the last year. The race for 2020 continues to heat up and we know the dates for the very first Democratic presidential debate. The debate will take place over two nights and will air right here on 12 News, June 26th and the 27th of June. The event is being held in Miami, Florida. And a new poll by Quinnipiac University ranks former Texas Congressman Beto O'Rourke number three in terms of Democratic presidential contenders. Joe Biden still tops the list at 29%. Bernie Sanders is 19%. Beto there, uh, you can see, sitting at 12%. And Kamala Harris has slipped to fourth at uh, 8% there, trailing behind the top contenders. Uh, we're looking at Elizabeth Warren and Cory Booker, as well as Julian Castro. 1,000 airline passengers across two continents were left stranded today by the sudden closure of Wow Air, the Icelandic budget airline specialized in ultra cheap flights between North America and Europe, but was forced to, to declare bankruptcy. Today on their website, they posted that they were suspending all flights indefinitely and advised customers to check with other airlines for ways to reach their destinations. Right now, new Arizona based Danzi, uh, Danziasen Dairy is recalling 360 pint bottles of cream due to insufficient pasteurization. The Arizona Department of Agriculture says so far no illnesses have been reported, but if you bought one of their pints of dairy cream within the expiration date of April 17th, you're asked to return it to the creamery for a full refund. More hearings today in the $25 million college admission scandal. Two coaches allegedly involved will appear in a Boston courtroom today. They include a Yale women's soccer coach and a head tennis coach over at the University of Texas. Parents are scheduled to appear tomorrow.